हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल थर्ड एम आइडिया थर्ड एम मीडिया ओके सो शेल डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स विच आर एक्चुअली पब्लिश्ड ऑन अप्रैल इलेवेंथ सो आई थिंक वी हैव मिस्ड सम सेशंस सो लेट्स लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट इन टू द टॉपिक्स द फर्स्ट टॉपिक वॉज जॉब्स इन्फ्लेशन की इशूज जॉब्स इन्फ्लेशन की इशूज इन लोकसभा पोल्स फाइंड सर्वे सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट वी ऑल नो दैट देर विल बी पोलिंग्स राइट देर विल बी पोलिंग एग्जिट पोल्स ऑल दो थिंग्स so so it's particular uh, result about a particular poll with respect to elections now so muslims dalits and adivasis are most concerned about these issues nearly two thirds of those surveyed 62% across localites expressed that getting work has been increasingly difficult so unemployment and price risk are the key concerns of nearly half of the electorate the csds the csds lok niti pre poll survey This is a pre-poll survey in the run-up to the 2024 general elections revealed. So it's about that most of them are feeling that unemployment has been increased. So this is about their opinion. Okay. So you can say that. So 27% is telling that unemployment is the reason. So 27% of the people are concerned about unemployment, and some are 23% are concerned about price rise, and some are concerned about development. That is 13. 9% others corruption. 8% don't know. So they are not at all. I have any about such things, then they have reported as don't know, and Hindu too. So some are concerned about Hindu too. They are two percent, and Ram Mandir in Ayodhya eight percent. So these are different peoples. So don't trust in any Lok Sabha polls or any polls. Just see the manifestos, and depend upon your experience and your expertise or your opinion, you go and vote for the particular party or particular candidate. See the progress because it's our future, and don't forget to vote. Next. Second topic is Supreme Court declines apology by Ramdev Patanjali. So they were recently in a contempt of court uh, defamation, right? Because they were actually defaming other products. Actually, they are uh, marketing their products, saying that they are better than when compared to the English medicines. Okay, because they were actually citing, they are actually uh, they are actually lacking scientific backing for their products. So for that, court has uh, filed a case, has given some notice against them. And it's also booked. They were also booked under some case. It's all about it. The Supreme Court on Wednesday refused to accept a second round of apology from self-styled yoga guru Baba Ramdev, Patanjali Ayurveda Limited, and its managing director Acharya Balakrishna in a contempt case flagging concern about fast-moving consumer goods companies playing with the health of playing with the health of gullible public while government fails to crack the whip. So obviously, this type of companies are. marketing their products telling that they are better when compared to the other companies okay but actually they are lacking scientific things so people are directly blindly blindly trusting such personalities and buying their products and they are getting uh, prone to some diseases which cannot be identified they are they are actually disturbing their health so we should be very careful while we using such type of products karnataka high court squashes center circular banning 23 bits of dangerous drugs So in the previous current affairs sessions, at one point we have discussed that center, uh, that Supreme Court has banned some dogs, right? So, so, so center has banned some dogs. That is something of foreign dogs, which they call it as very precarious, precarious or dangerous dogs. So let's see what are what does Karnataka High Court said. So the High Court of Karnataka on Wednesday quashed circular re- released by the center on March 12th, banning 23 breeds of so they banned 23 breeds of ferocious and dangerous dogs. The court said the central government could not have imposed a blanket ban, imposed a blanket ban on dog breeds through a circular in the absence of any such power available under the provisions of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act 1960 or the Animal Birth Control Rules. So, according to these laws, we don't center has the center center has no power to ban such breeds. Okay, their responsibility, the responsibility of the pet owner would not be limited. Now, the High Court. is telling that the responsibility of the pet owner would not be limited to owing oral responsibility but should be made accountable for the payment of entire treatment of the victim who would be injured by the dog this is a right decision so rather than banning the complete breed so rather than banning them completely it would be better that it it is a responsibility of the owner who should take care of the one who is actually injured by that particular dog the court observed in its order some of the banned dog breeds are like some of the banned dog breeds are pitbull terrier tosa tosa inu american staff uh, american staffordshire terrier phila brasilirio american bulldog 
trot wheeler and every dog of the type commonly called known as band dog so these are the some basic examples of dogs which are actually banned so i have not listed the entire 23 dogs 23 breeds of dogs next india to send new defense attaches to several missions in africa so recently there are many pirate issues happening in happening with respect to how they rebels they are trying to uh, there are many pirate attacks so and even there are many issues in different countries like and our indian nationals are actually prevailing there for example if you take israel if you take russia if you take ukraine and if you take hamas and if you take gaza each and every part of the country and each and every part in the world indian diaspora is present there and so deal with such type of things we need our people or we need our diplomats to be present there such type of things are nothing but different attaches means we are actually implemented or employing our personnel or defense personnel in there and attaching them are deploying them in that particular country and attaching them to that particular embassies or particular missions so that whenever there is a time or need of the time whenever the, there is a need of the hour these people can help indian government from there to help in this rescue operations or evacuations i hope you are you know, it's nothing but our persons are present there so that they can help us whenever there is a crisis situation in a sign of expanding focus on on focus on on military diplomacy india set to send defense attaches to a number of its missions in africa for the first time sources here have confirmed the move is part of larger adjustment of the defense attaches in indian missions scattered across continent continents and regions and is being implemented as india deals with dynamic situations in indo pacific red sea indian ocean and eurasia a source private to the internal discussion said that out of all the continents it is africa that is expected to get four new da that is defense attaches out of that one defense attache is likely to be sent to the france franco francophone western africa and three others are expected to be sent to three countries in eastern and southeastern africa indian missions and in countries such as ivory coast mozambique ethiopia and djibouti are being discussed as part of the process in the meanwhile a number of defense attaches posted to indian missions abroad underwent a three day pre deployment training program at the sushma swaraj institute of foreign service this week the crisis in gaza and ukraine have both highlighted the need for finding a more effective management of the defense attaches in east europe and eurasia and in the east african region that is crucial for guarding indian interests in the red sea and the western indian ocean similar new appointments and changes in the post of defense attaches are also expected to take place in the indian missions in the united kingdom in the united kingdom russia philippines armenia while philippines and armenia will host indian indian defense attaches for the first time in case of russia the number of attaches is expected to be reduced because whatever the contracts or whatever the machines whatever the bilateral agreements which are happening between russia and india have already come to an end and there is no purpose of uh, deploying any defense attaches in that particular country now next indian institute of management in an institute of management ahmedabad among world's top 25 for management studies jnu ranked india's top university The Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, is among the top 25 institutions globally for business and management studies, while the IIMs in Bangalore and Calcutta are among the top 50 according to the QS World University Rankings by subject announced on Wednesday. Jawaharlal Nehru University is the highest ranked university in India in the coveted rankings announced by Kokkarelli Simmons, Kokkarelli Simmons, the London-based higher educational analytics firm. The university is ranked at 20th position globally for development studies. In the broader Asian regional context, India secured the second spot in terms of the number of universities featured, 69, trailing only China 101 and holds the fourth position in the total number of ranked entries, 454 after China 1041, Japan 510 and South Korea 499. India ranks fifth regionally for the number of top 200 entries. In the top 200 entries, India is ranks fifth one. it's very actually it's a great achievement for us next after crude oil its russian diamonds india raises concern over sanctions with europe faced with mounting losses and consignment delays due to new european union g7 sanctions indian diamond exporters are calling for a separate screening process to be set up in india so that newly mandated procedures for exports for to western countries can be processed smoothly the discussions encompassed key areas of bilateral cooperation direct bilateral cooperation including trade and economic cooperation semiconductors cyber and digital science and tech 
UNSA reforms and multilateral cooperation and institutional dialogue mechanisms the minister of election the minister of ministry of election affairs said adding that the dialogue had extended to global and regional affairs including an exchange on key global challenges chief among chief among these concerns are the procedures put into place by european European Union G7 in their 12th round of sanctions against Russia for the war in Ukraine that went into effect beginning December 2023 with a four phase ban so what does this actually this issue so let's in the last paragraph it will be very clear the first while well, the first was so what it uh, EU7 did so EU7 imposed some bans on Russia so what are this we will understand now. the first was a ban on importing russian diamonds into europe so they banned import of diamonds from russia and the united states and didn't affect india obviously they banned it and it was not affected to india what happened in the second phase the second phase that went into effect on march 2024 has extended the ban to russian diamonds that are polished in a third country as well as for example now if i am up, if india is importing that particular diamonds to russia from here to india and it is polishing here and here from here it is exporting to eu also they are banning directly whatever the product it is coming from russia they are trying to curb it so these proposed sanctions are part of an internationally coordinated g7 diamond ban aiming to deprive russia of this important revenue stream estimated at 4 billion euros per year the notification of the 12th round of sanctions released in december 2023 had said so that's all these are the important articles which are actually uh, which are actually published on april 11th hope you guys understood it very well i think i am very clear with the topic so that's all don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel and share it to those people who actually require this type of current affairs and who are not well uh, who are not well aware of reading the newspaper and whenever you are going to and uh, one personal suggestion from me is don't go for multiple sources stick to a single source which will be uh, which would be very helpful for you to understand all the current affairs so that's all thank you